Timmy Joe reviews anything. Reviewing computer parts on YouTube. That's Woo! You gotta be pumped on that, right? Well, computer parts! Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, hi there, my name's Jimmy Joe, making videos about computers on the internet. Been quoted as being a big autistic bear on YouTube. The autistic bear of making computers on YouTube. Oh, my life. Um, we're building a new Ryzen computer, which is pretty cool. And uh, basically, probably still use the same chip. I'm going to get a different chip, but I already have it at 1700, so I'm going to use that as this is my editing rig. And uh, to start off, I really love this cooler Noctua uh, NH-D15. One of the best, even, you know, putting AIOs into the mix and what have you and whatnot. Uh, and then they sent me their line of Chromax covers for it, which is really, really, really cool. Uh, the aesthetics aren't the theme of this build. Uh, I'm building it in the Intermax Equalescence case, which is a, like, sound dampening case. And I'm going to be hiding the computer, so I don't care about RGB or how it looks. But because they sent all of this, there's too much stuff. They sent way too much stuff. We're going to check it out. So yeah, NHD 15, one of the best cooler uh, air coolers you can buy, like bar none. It's huge, but uh, accommodating because look at there's little spots so that the RAM doesn't get in the way. Just kind of cool some stuff. So not only did they send me like this one lets you alter the uh, you know whatever the what have you the the colors on the top. You can put little thingies in them to make them different colors. They sent me the white version and the the black version but we'll use the fancy color one today because why not so that's that's three boxes okay now uh they sent two really nice black uh 140 mil fans uh with little i'm losing them all over the place uh edge bumpers that are rubber so that you know it doesn't vibrate in your case uh, so that's really nice. Two of those. And then they sent, seriously, 200 boxes filled with all of this junk. Because to match your nice uh, little covers on your cooler, you need to make sure you match your cables, too. You know, the black ones are fine. I don't find that that's a problem. Now I made a mess. So, basically, I have an unlimited supply of splitters and uh, fan header extenders because thank you Noctua now if you were going to buy this you would probably just you know pick your colors pick your poison because here on their website over here they're on their website they have you know all the stuff listed individually so you can pick and choose you know one of 30 different you know uh, setups color wise combinations and what have you to fit your build, so that's pretty cool. So what we're gonna do is, uh, I'm right at the beginning stages of building this computer, and the, you have to put these giant air coolers on uh, beforehand. Ryzen 1700, Asus Aorus K7 motherboard. We're using the uh, other bank of uh, ballistics memory I had from the Ryzen Threadripper. I gave away one bank while I still got 32 freaking gigabytes for uh, black sticks. I'm hoping. That's going to work real nice at 3200 um, you know, megahertz in this board. But if not, I might have to use another, you know, or, or down clock this memory. I'm not sure what will end up happening. Come along with me for a journey where we uh, put a cooler on a computer and see how hard it is. I'm assuming it's going to be semi-complicated and if it's worth your time and money. Start the process now. <laughs>
right, now we're all finished up. Hi there. Doesn't she look beautiful? Huh? Not bad. Uh, I really like it. It's uh, finally, you know, they're offering an aesthetic choice. Uh, other over, you know, tan and brown. Not we need to do this because, yeah, they're the best cooler in the world. Like, seriously, if you uh, check out the specs, them versus AIOs versus other air coolers, like, they're in the 90th percentile always hitting the microphone. So, uh, you know, for them not to offer a really great looking product kind of set things back a little bit, but now here it is. Now, uh, there is a caveat to that, of course. Uh, there's some caviar to that. <laughs> this is expensive. It's like 25 bucks for the covers, uh, another 25 bucks for another fan, uh, all the little rubbers that are like different colors, you know, whatever. And the cooler itself is like 90 bucks. So tallying it up, you're into expensive AIO territory, and those already have RGB and, you know, pumps and fans included with them. So uh, it's up to you. But uh, what the, this does is if you have room for it in your case, it offers a better airflow around your VRM. It offers just like really amazing cooling. I've done a, a video with this thing where I proved that it's as good as an AIO uh, cooling an i7 overclocked to 5.2 gigahertz you can check out that video here uh but yeah this isn't a review of the performance of this cooler i've done that before this is just like a how easy was it to put these things on whoa you know what not so bad uh, but it does require a little bit of forethought and figuring things out and whatever and what have you uh it's gonna take you about as long to hook this whole riggins up as it would to put uh, you know 240 mil rad and aio in your system so uh the ease of putting one of these things in kind of goes out the window now too uh so and then you have to buy more than one thing it's not just one product you have to make sure you got all the right pieces and sizes and what have you so uh, it would be nice if uh, Noctua just, you know, gave you this whole package together. I don't know if they do that. It seems like everything's just separate right now. Uh, but I'm sure we'll see that in the future. But uh, stay tuned, because obviously we're not, the system's not built, and there's some components in here I've never reviewed. Totally be worth hitting the subscribe button, because we're going to review this Edermax case. The uh, Equilescence, what a crazy freaking uh, name for it. It's got all the sound deadening material in it. It came with some, you know, pretty decent looking fans they're not you know fancy looking but the whole point of this build is not going to be for it to be fancy it's going to be functional and you know i wanted it to be quiet have good airflow sit underneath my desk yeah it's got tempered glass but you know that's that's neither here nor there so we're going to build in that and then the uh star of the show is this gigabyte motherboard I mean, it's the K7. It's one of the best Ryzen motherboards you can get, uh, aside from the high-end Asus Crosshair ROG, you know, whatever, crazy LN2 boards. This is going to get me my Max on my chip, and I'm very interested to find out what that is because I've honestly only ever had this chip on b350 motherboards uh and a handful of x370 that weren't very good at all uh for like a weekend or something like that so i don't know what this does and i'd like to see if this i've got ballistics memory in here this 3200 speed that i've never had any luck going any higher than like 2666 2933 i'd like to see if i can get max uh just like i did with threadripper with that memory anyways hi there guys we're uh you know putting this video to rest but do you like the looks of it is it worth it to you are you happy they finally have an option to make things look pretty because i think it looks pretty cool and you know there's all kinds of custom customability options here customability that's a word uh you know if you want to change your colors make them white here's the white one uh or if you're cheap and just want to buy the black one or there's this multi-tab, multi-colored thing you can put in the back of these, and they're really simple. You can even switch the colors out really easy in your build if you want to. You just change that little tab in there, and then these slide on. They lock in with magnets, and the whole process was fairly easy, but it you know it is a time-consuming thing just to get used to how that all clicks together. Once you got it going, it's pretty easy to get used to it. So I'll see you guys in another video. Uh, lots of stuff to on the horizon, lots of stuff to review. Uh, I hear Ryzen 2 is coming out in the new year, so. That that's freaking cool. We got a uh, volt of Titans happening. There's, it's a great time to be a PC enthusiast because the uh, stuff not doesn't stop coming out and more cores keep getting added to it. More megahertz, more gigahertz, more kajiggers. It's awesome. So I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you very much for watching and uh, Intermax Chromax links in the below if you're going to buy them on Amazon because you might as well buy them through my affiliate link. It's the holidays. Helps me out, helps you out. We'll see you guys later. Woo.